Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. In this tutorial, we are going to be setting up the perfect vocal reverb and delay, but not just any reverb and delay, one that will automatically duck based on your incoming signal. This is an effect that you hear in a lot of your favorite mixes. Those of you out there who want to create these really interesting, big, washy spaces, maybe some textural echoes, but you don't want those to cloud up your vocal. It's also going to give you some workflow enhancements that not only apply to reverb, and delay, but really any effect that you want in your toolbox to use for your vocals in your session. So let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so we got our session open here and we're gonna be focused on the pre-hook section of the vocal, the lead specifically. But what I've done is gone ahead and just removed any of the reverb and delay from that particular part. And then I've left everything on the kind of main hook just so you can hear the difference in what we're aiming for with our uh, ducking reverb and delay. So let's go ahead and play this back. All I decline when it rain, clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road. I get high, I've been low. I feel like I'm just losing control. This life been driving me crazy. from me all right so you can hear that big space that i have on the reverb for the second part of our hook you can also hear those interesting echoes and delay textures created there but our pre-hook has none of that on it right now and that's what we're going to work on here so i'm going to go ahead and hit our uh, aux for our pre-hook vocals and we're just going to create a bus to send down here for our ducking reverb and delay so i've already got that name down here and what we're going to do is just go ahead and load Studio Rack. There are some serious advantages in terms of setting up internal side chaining. Very easy for setting up these ducking effects. We're not going to have to set up multiple buses and oxes for things like different reverbs, delays. With our Studio Rack instance, I want to just go ahead and click Parallel Split. What this is going to do is it's just going to split the incoming signal of whatever we send to Studio Rack. So when we send this down here through this bus, we're going to be able to multiply this and we can do up to eight different splits. So that could potentially be eight different effect chains. Don't get lost here. It's not that complicated, but we're going to go back here and we're just going to activate two of these because we're going to have one for our reverb chain and the other for our delay chain. I'm going to go ahead and just send a little bit down here so that we can start working with it. And we're going to start with the reverb. So we're going to use a uh, classic R verb today. And we're going to go ahead and dial in a church space. This is one of my favorite algorithms in Renaissance Reverb. Clear my mind, free my soul. Go ahead and get rid of the EQ and the damping that's being done internally with our verb. I'm going to show you we have a lot more flexibility if we use a separate EQ. I'm going to go ahead and increase our pre-delay to about 20. And we'll probably create a little bit bigger space here. Clear my mind, free my soul I'm alone as I ride down this road I get high, I've been low So obviously right now, I mean, we get that big washy tail and it's just going to be way too much in the context of our mix. But that's why we're going to make it a ducking reverb. Get to that in just a sec. So I'm a huge fan of EQing reverbs. It's really helpful to do this to create space in your mix. But I've been using a, a particular EQ here of recent. It's called the GEQ, Classic Graphic EQ, but you have a ton of different frequency notches here, which means for things like reverbs and delays that we're EQing, you have a lot of control and flexibility. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this button over here. Right now it just says drag, and that just means you know I just drag these faders uh, individually to set those. Now if I click that and it now says draw, I can just go like this and set them pretty much wherever I want. So I'm just gonna full reset that. And we're gonna roll off quite a bit of the lows as well as the highs. And I'm just gonna tweak this while we're listening to it. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road. I get high, I've been low. I 
feel like I'm just losing control This life been driving me crazy Clear my mind, free my soul I'm alone as I ride down this road I get high, I've been low I feel like I'm just losing control so just with those EQ moves here on GEQ, we get a nice vibey space, but not something that has a really harsh top end or a lot of low end buildup. I'm gonna remove a little bit more here at about 1K, just so that again, we're not creating extra harshness with that reverb space for the lead vocal. We wanna keep everything up front there, keep it pretty clean, uh, but that should work quite nicely as far as the EQ. Now to the ducking aspect, and this is why we're using Studio Rack because there's no faster way to do this that I know of. All we need to do is pull out the R comp, and then we're gonna go up here to the sidechain menu here in Studio Rack. And we're gonna set this to the Studio Rack input, which means the signal coming into Studio Rack is going to trigger this compressor. And given that it's the last plugin in the chain, our vocal signal is going to uh, suppress or duck this as it's coming through. So not that complicated. Just listen here to what it does. I'm going to lower the ratio. We want to go with a pretty high ratio. And then we're going to bring down the threshold here. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road. I get high, I've been low. Now to take this a step further, you can get really precise with the ducking and adjust the attack and the release. So I like to speed up the attack because we want that ducking to happen quite quickly, uh, but I want the uh, release to be a little bit slower. We don't necessarily want that reaction to be really sudden because you can cause some artifacts and some words can get kind of cut off if we do that uh, too quickly. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road I get high, I've been low I feel like I'm just losing control This life been driving me crazy So with that side chain compressor engaged We're able to get that vocal to come through nice and clean But we still get that big space, the perspective That there's a big uh, reverb there But it's not, again, clouding up the vocal and the, the lead uh, sitting up front. So let me just unmute the beat so you can hear that now. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road. I get high, I've been low. I feel like I'm just losing control. This life been driving me crazy. So I think we got the reverb dialed in pretty well there. Now let's move on to our delay. And this is gonna be set up very similarly. We're gonna be using kind of a secret weapon delay uh, for me. I don't hear a lot of people talking about it. These are really good, especially the EQ and the delay. Uh, these are two that I use in pretty much every session. But this delay has some cool, unique effects that we can dial in really quickly. So let's go ahead and hear what that sounds like. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride on this road. I get high. Obviously, it's very, very overbearing right now. I'm going to turn the feedback down. That ducking is just happening on the reverb. We can control these independently. So we're going to go ahead and just dial in the tone of this. Same thing with the reverb. And then we'll uh, create some ducking. Clear my mind. Free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road. I get high. I've been low. Like I'm just losing control Clear my mind, free my soul I'm alone as I ride down this road I get high, I've been low Clear my mind, free my soul I'm alone as I ride down this road combining a little bit of reverb, a little bit of distortion and some width, as well as a phaser, and then also filtering the delay. We get a really nice tone, a nice echo texture there. But now we're gonna go ahead and add another R comp. And if you want to, you can just copy this one by holding Option Command 
and just drag that since we already set that up for the same incoming signal. Now, obviously we can adjust the attack and the release if we wanna make sure and uh, precisely uh, set this delay and, and what's kind of coming through there. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road. I get high, I've been low. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road. I get high, I've been low. I feel like I'm just low. Clear my mind, free my soul. I'm alone as I ride down this road I get high, I've been low I feel like I'm just losing control This life been driving me crazy really helpful to mix and blend these in the context of the entire mix with the beat so you can hear you know where those delays are going to sit and you know making them noticeable enough but not intrusive and also adjusting that reverb just to make sure that that space feels right clear my mind free my soul i'm alone as i ride down this road i get high i've been low I'm hoping this is going to get your wheels turning with setting up parallel splits and then utilizing effects in this way. It's really powerful to be able to independently control mixing, control ducking, not to mention you can add other effects. For example, if I wanted to add, you know, say a doubler, a lot of times I'll use a doubler on the lead. I can just add that into here to the split and then control that uh, independently of my reverb and my delay. I can also automate, you know, levels here on each of these parallel splits. So just infinite possibilities setting this up with Studio Rack and you can do kind of some mega effect racks for your vocals to be able to choose from different splits and different chains there. If you have any questions or comments about setting up ducking reverbs and delays for your vocals, feel free to leave a comment below. If you learned anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. Hit that notification bell for more. We'll talk to you soon.